fight. I mean, everyone's calling for that Patty Pimba fight. I mean, is that something that you can maybe get next year, next year? No, UFC will not let me fight him. Like, let's be honest. I mean, we watched his last fight, and uh, we know what I'm capable of. Uh, yeah, that would be a fun one. I just, I just want to fight in London at that O2 arena, right? So if Patty says yes, I'm all for it. But we all know that uh, we got Dana, UFC, and all those. They won't let that happen. What do you think of that decision? Uh, I mean, I got to go back and watch it again. But, uh, man, there's there's a lot of uh, talking. But the, what I'm... I guess my opinion on the entire matter is there's, there's something to star power, you know, in, in the judges' decisions, right? And we're watching like Octagon Control and effectiveness and, you know, all this other stuff. But man, star power is something you got to also get over. So when you're fighting a guy as big as Patty, you got to do more than just five more punches, you know? <laughs> uh, and then finally, um, I'm sure you saw, but did you happen to watch the Patty Pimblett fight uh, oh, after you this they, decision? They, 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 they give him a... Christmas gift right now because he, he clearly lost the fight. <coughs> I don't think uh, anyone disagree with me in this room. Do you think he won any of the rounds? It's a lot of people seem to think Jared won all three. Yeah, Jared will win all three rounds. He didn't win any any round. But anyways, f him. Right now, I'm gonna celebrate my win. And like I said before, he's not on my way right now, so. God bless everyone who is not on my way. If he cross on my way, so then we're gonna we're gonna put his head like a Bryce head tonight. Oh yeah, press conferences. I make dude. I make the f press conferences. Like look at look at Patty. The f you know the Conor McGregor wannabe. Like you don't want to see that f guy with this gay little f bull cut. You know you can't relate to that f guy. That English little f prick. The Tom is a great model for UK young generation. This guy is not like party animal. There's so many guys that don't get a lot of media um, attention. They should have get example. It's Arnold Al Allen. It's uh, it's uh, Lynn Edwards. It's uh, uh, Tom Aspinall. Uh, 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 like Nathaniel Wood, no, these guys are amazing. Uh, good, good uh, example. I think I don't, I don't disrespect media guys, but you give this bull guy like Paddy Pimblet attention. These guys never, never, ever reach top 15. Like realistically, who understands MMA? They will never reach, and is a, is I don't think he's a great. Role model for for young young guys. Please follow like Thomas Pinel, Arnold Allen, like Clint Edwards. Real months months outside the cage and inside the cage. And um, I, I'm proud to be on same card as man like Thomas Pinel. Is it that you consider Paddy Pimlet to be a bad role model? Hey, this guy like this. Put pants down, in hey man, you know, you don't do this, put pants down, women don't do this stuff. Man, put pants down and get fat, drink beer, like animal, you know, I, I grew up, like, you know, Liverpool, there's some proper, like, mans in Liverpool, like, first my refugee centre was in Liverpool, I know real scouts people, they don't do stuff like this, you know, like, this guy, uh, just too much, you know, I'm, I'm not a hater. I just want to see younger generation follow real mans. If if you talk about UK guys, there's Thomas Pinel, this like Arnold Allen, Lynn Edwards, mans of the words of the of what they're doing, they will back you up. Not this guy like walk behind security when they see camera, then he's like real guy. But when there's no camera, he's like hiding. I see this. I know this energy. You know, I'm not some kid like. Uh, Everybody push me to the cage, go fight, please. I grew up crazy too, you know. That's the thing I feel that Patty's missing. Um, when you get to the point where you're you're getting that big off your 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 fights, you're getting up to 200 pounds, uh, 190 pounds. It's not a joke. It's like you're not in the training room, you're not getting better, and that's where you guys get better is when you're not in camp. Because this camp start and he's going probably has to, having to lose weight for the first three or four weeks just to get into a good shape to even start training it. So 
the first half of his camps are losing weight when they should be just focusing on the person that he's fighting. So I don't think that his skills are growing because he's getting so big out of camp. You need to start, look at what you did wrong that last fight. You need to fix those things and I don't think he's fixing them. Jared was landing that left hook at will. Paddy keeps moving his head back a lot and uh, other guys are gonna start taking advantage of that. Jared was a lot smaller than him, but Jared was controlling him on the fence. Anytime he wanted, Paddy went for a takedown and Jared reversed it. In either the wrestling sequences, Jared was on top. Uh, so I think Paddy got a lot of work to do if he really wants to be a champion. If he's in it for just uh, hoping to get big bucks, I mean, he's obviously getting those, but if you want to be the champion, you got to get good. You got to get better. Do I think Patty will fight Taporia? I do not think Patty will fight Taporia. I think Patty's going to be sitting out for a little bit. I think he's going to take some time off and uh, go on his uh, victory parade a little bit, go on a bunch of media because I feel like he knows he lost that fight. And I think that he needs to just keep this hype train going. So whoever he fights next is definitely going to be a tough fight. Now that we got that out the way, I just have to say it. I just have to say it. Look at this. Look at this little fat head right here. Look at this little fat head. Look at the little fat head guy right there. Who is this fat head guy? Can somebody tell me who this fat head guy is? No, me and Jamal Hill ain't beefing no more. That's my. Who is this fat head right here? Who is this guy? I want to know. Who is this guy right here? Who is this guy right here? They said he's the baddie. I don't know about the baddie. If he was bad, he'd fight me. If he was bad. If he was bad. <laughs> you know, if you really want to fight somebody real, somebody with some real credibility, not this monkey king, bullshit, weird shit, you can fight a real bro. The real ones. <laughs> Man, so y'all can tag him and let him know what I'm saying. Let him know. Cause he want, I don't want to disrespect him in front of this girl. He's with his little lady friend right now. And I'd be just, I'd just be mean. I'm with my girl too. But I don't give a f Okay? I don't give a f it go down when it go down. I don't think during fight weeks you can escape all the Patty Pimblett questions. Given <laughs> your, your, so I'm going to ask you, what do you make of his meteoric rise uh, in the UFC right now? You know, I mean, he, he's doing good and, you know, good for him. You know, I think he just, uh, uh, I think he's a little like less active than most, um, you know, and that's his own prerogative. Uh, and I don't have any kind of like uh, resentment or anything towards Patty himself. Uh, when I fought Patty, I was a bit more upset with the whole situation of, uh, you know, his manager was also the promoter of the show. Um, I didn't even actually see him officially make weight. He was over a couple pounds and they said he was gonna go cut the weight and come back and make it. And I ended up leaving because I just, you know, I was, it had been an hour and a half and I wanted to go eat. So I didn't even see him make weight. Uh, you know, just like small things like that, that kind of just got to me. Um, but if I was in his shoes, I'd probably be doing the same thing. You know, I would, I would take advantage of everything uh, that he was taking advantage of uh, when I fought him.